Welcome to the Design It video learning series. In this tutorial, we will be working in the Stitch Designer section of the program shown here, one of the five major sections of Design and It. We'll be using many of the techniques that we have learned in this Design and It program to create a baby blanket for my new little niece named Sadie Rose. I want to knit a rose color blanket 200 stitches wide on a standard bed electronic knitting machine. It's going to be a two color per row jacquard of a baby bear that I sketched by hand and then converted to knit stitches in Design and Graphics Studio section and then edit it to clean it up a little. Last, we'll insert her name into the design. We need a few strategies first to determine the size for the design. I want to knit this two color per row jacquard, 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters for our attention. Since I want a seven and a half centimeter border around the edges, this means that I need to make a border of 21 stitches wide and 30 rows high to get this 7.5 centimeter border. The 7.5 centimeters is equivalent to 3 inches. So now that we've worked out the strategy, let's discuss the body of the pattern. We are going to have 400 row blanket minus the 30 rows on each end equals 340 rows available for the design. 21 stitches on each side of the border gives me 168 stitches wide for the design. Let's go into design it now. Use the yarn palette, yarn color setup, to change this gray here. It's a little dotted line around it. And let's make this a nice rose color design. Lighten it up a little bit. That's nice. Apply the color and you can see that it's been changed. OK to continue. Now with the rose selected as the right mouse button color, select File, New Pattern Setup, and remember when whatever your right mouse button color is currently, this will define the background of the color for our new pattern. We don't need to save the changes for this. I'm going to say set the size manually, 200 stitches by 400 rows. I'm going to use the current palette so that it maintains that rows that we just did change. OK to continue. It's asking me my tensions and it's 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. That's OK. Let's zoom in once. We want to make a box. And I'm going to turn the handled box on. We want to make a box here. I'm going to use this handle and numbers appear on the bottom of the screen. It says here that it's 15 stitches to 181 stitches across the blanket, 26 stitches on the, on the bottom and 370 stitches on the top. We want this bottom to read 31 stitches and the top we have 400 minus 30, we want it to be 379. On the sides, we would, they have the 21, so this should be 22. And I'm looking at the numbers on the bottom. It says 18. Now it says 20, 22. And the, on the other side, we have we have 200 minus the 21 is 179. So I'm going to go until I set this to 179. Okay. Now, if I click on this box again, I can hold my mouse over top of the middle handle and it shows here that I have 159 stitches by 340 run rows for our design. With this color and this box open, I'm going to select the white as the right mouse button color. I'm going to say edit clear yarn colors and it will clear it to the right mouse button color. I can turn this box off now. So this is a template that we can use over and over and over again and put in new designs and new names and just simply change the color of the border to fit. The last thing that we want to do is we want to ensure that we have one selecting needle, that's the pink down here, and one non-selecting needle, that's the white here. You can see that the, needle, the little needles, one is out in B, D position, and this one here, if I bring up the hints, it says this color deselects the needles and they are in B position. You can change that by clicking on them. 
now that I know that I have this, I'm going to say File, Save As. And I'm going to save it as the baby blanket template. I'm going to say Cancel because it's already saved. I want to say, I want to go into the Design Graphics Studio section of the program now. I don't need to save these changes. I'm going to say File, Open Up My Bear. I'm going to zoom out. And here's our bear. For our grid dimensions, we have 168 stitches wide available to us. And so let's make this 150 stitches wide. That leaves a few stitches on either side for the bear. It's saying at this to ten at this tensions, 31 and a half by 39. These are wrong. So we're going to change our tensions down here. And we're going to change it to 28 and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. Now it's saying that this pr proportion tensions 28 stitches and 40 rows which is correct 150 stitches should be uh, proportional with 271 rows and we're going to change this to 272 to keep this proportional in the design and Jacquard needs an even number of rows so we change the 271 to 272 okay let's use the preview conversion here and this is what it would look like converted converted this is perfect we'll need to do a little bit of editing here and, and around the edges to have a nice neat lines but the, the the bulk of the work is done for us okay to continue the last thing it's going to ask us is it, what machine are we using? We're using a Brother KH970 and it's going to be two color per row jacquard. Okay to continue. And now we have our bear and we're going to use this selection box and we're going to make a little box like this and then use this a zoom in to the selection box make my edits. You can see that some of this here needs to be edited into nice clean lines I can pick up my pencil and I can edit some of the things in here so that the, it's starting to make a nice clean line. Then you, you zoom out with this button here. You make another selection box. You zoom in. You do your editing. Some of these stitches here need to be in gray right now, etc. And you keep zooming out, making a box, zoom in, make your changes, zoom back out until you have the bear exactly where you want it. And I have a finished bear here. And this is what the bear would look like finished. I can zoom in once, let's see. You can see that it's nice neat lines all the way around. This is nice and neat. And we have uh, a bear that we like. We want to say file, open this baby blanket template here as one of the last four patterns that we worked with. Okay. And then I'm going to say edit, import, a single motif, the bear. The bear is hovering in the upper left corner of the design and we need to move it uh, right about here that's centered across with the paws and we have room at the bottom to write the name of the baby. So I'm going to click outside of this to set this down onto the design. Now I have a three color per row design. If I say palettes, yarn color setup, delete unused colors, you can see that I have one, two, three colors. Okay, for a minute we're going to say this is the left button mouse button color and this gray is the right mouse button color and we're going to say palette replace and the hint says replace the right mouse button color with the left mouse button color and we've done that and now we have a bear on the design and we have to go back in here and delete the unused colors we only have a two color per row jacquard pattern right now the final thing that we need to do is we need to write the baby's name onto the blanket and we use this with the ABC. The color of the lettering is defined by the left mouse button color, which is rose, which is the color we want to write in. So I'm going to say ABC. And I've written in Sadie Rose. Uh, Comic Sans is the 
font that I'm currently using. Uh, I'm specifying the font size to be 18. This is a nice size. And it's sitting up here in the top. I want to bring it down right about here. And I'm going to say apply and OK to continue. And now it's laid this down exactly where we want. Let's check this. It says baby blanket template here, 200 stitches by 400 rows. F for ferrule, that's wrong. And the tensions are also wrong. So let's make those changes. Method of knitting is two color per row jacquard. And the tensions, which are now says two, and the options tensions are 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters. Okay. We can zoom in once to see what it looks like. It, it, sometimes they um, move this out of the way. And you can see this is quite nice. Move down here to the name. So we're happy with this. We're going to say file, save as, and call this the bear finished bear blanket two color that's our blanket I'm gonna save that but I've already saved it so I'm gonna say cancel but you would say save that now we've decided we've liked this so much we're going to knit this in four color per row jacquard and make some changes so let's say palette yarn color setup and we need to make a black that will go around the, I'm going to pull the slide roller down and apply it to this dotted box. And we need two browns. A brown that will be the bear color. Maybe like this. It's going to go into this box, apply the color. And we're going to want to have one in the same color family, but much lighter. And that's going to go into, let's say, this box. Apply the color. Right now we have five colors. We're going to change this to four colors per row. I want to make a box and make the box the size of the bear. I'm going to say the black is the left mouse button color and the rose is the right mouse button color. And then I'm going to say palette exchange. This will change the right mouse button color that's rose into black. So now I have a black bear. That's correct. Let's turn the box off. I still want it to say Sadie Rose. And I want to pick up a, a color. Let's pick up this rose again and the bucket. And let's color in the ears and the toes. Now, this has, I've left one here as a mistake for you to show you this. Why is this covering more than what we want to? And let's make a little box around this. And let's zoom in. And you can see there's one stitch right here. I'll turn my pencil on. This stitch right here, the, the color is going to fill up here. It's going to go leaking out right here and then it's going to fill out this color as well. So we really want to pick up the black. We want to edit this. So that it, it, it's all connected. And I'm going to zoom back out. Turn my box off. And let's pick, pick up this white and let's get rid of this pink with the paint bucket and you can see now that the line is separated it doesn't fill both spots we want to pick up the brown for the bear and his feet and I guess we want to have the mouth uh, white like that works fine so now we have a four color per row jacquard palette yarn color setup delete unused okay we have four colors per row to card we need to make a couple changes we need to say options method of knitting this is a four color per row to card okay in this case we see that there's no needles selected because each needle is a selected needle for your card and so we don't need to have non-selecting and selecting needles like we do in Fair Isle 
we want to say check and jacquard okay and it says alter the sequence of jacquard numbers to change the fewest jacquard errors I'm going to say yes it says there that there are 117 errors correct automatically yes and this has not changed significantly anything on the design it's just changed it so that it will knit up properly without jamming on your knitting machine I'm going to save this as bare file save as go down uh, we want to say this as bare uh, four color finished oh save this and now we have a design that's ready to send to our knitting machine and it says here the four colors per row the tensions are 28 and 40 rows per 10 centimeters we're knitting on a KH 970 and we're all set ready for our blanket. Thank you.